Hello, welcome to another episode of Five Business Rules. I'm Monica Jansen, head kick-ass copywriter and strategist at Jansen Communications. And I'm Nicole Krug, digital marketing strategist at Socialite. So today we are going to be talking about email marketing. So five tips for writing emails um, or email subject lines that people want to open and can't wait to open. And just in case you missed it, email subject line is the most important part of your email. Absolutely. It makes or break campaign every single time. So tip number one, people respond to questions. They want to they wanna either answer it and share their answer with you or they want to know what the answer is. Um, so an email subject line that worked really well for me in the past year is what content will people pay for? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I want to know that. Mm -hmm. All right, two, short is better, nine words or less. So I use MailChimp for email marketing. I'm pretty sure that every email marketing platform out there has this, but they will help you write good subject lines. And MailChimp knows from millions of emails that have gone out and all of their analysis that nine words or less is the perfect length of a subject line. You know, and it's also, it's not only people like quick and snappy, but the other mm -hmm. thing is so much of email is read on mobile. So if it's yep. longer than that, your email line is actually not going to show up when like people right. aren't going to see it. So yeah. keep it short and, and it'll help you a lot. Yep. All right. And straightforward is better. So looking at um, my email subject lines from 2021, my October 2021 email subject line winner was, should you use memes for marketing? The October loser subject line, because I A-B test, so I always write too, is want to boost engagement, use memes for marketing. So that was two, uh, five. Okay, so that's exactly nine words, but the winning was six words. Shorter is always better. Mm -hmm. All right. Be specific about what's in the email. So I hate those like kind of generic like shop our sale. What the hell? What's on sale? Tell me what's on sale. So how about save up to 60% on all spring merchandise? A little more specific about mm -hmm. what's on sale mm -hmm. and what kind of savings you can expect. You know, when I see sales um, that you do the calculation, you're like, it's only 10% off. That's not a sale. <laughs> That's, not That's a, a sale. coupon. That's a, yeah, that, yes, that is a coupon. <laughs> all right. So five, push personal content to the forefront. Not all the time, but you can sprinkle it in. So in December 2021, I wrote about the marketing schedule I created for myself. Um, it had a 38.3% open rate and a 5.5% click-through rate, which is very, very good. I know maybe those numbers don't sound awesome, but that means you haven't been doing email marketing for very long because those are very good open rates. Um, so I talked about what I did for myself, and then I shared that with my audience that does two things one it is speaking to her experience you're saying i'm do, like i'm not just guessing at this i did this i did this mm -hmm. but it's also remember email is intimate it is people have invited you into their email box and mm -hmm. so it's a relationship mm -hmm. so saying things about her and what she's doing as some of the things it it builds more of that personal connection with her um so it serves two purposes there. it does yeah that was that was actually a really really popular blog post so Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions about email marketing, Nicole and I are both great resources. So feel free to reach out to either of us. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.